Oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. Oh, please, please don't laugh at me. Please help me rather than laughing at me. Uh, it's gotta be rare colorless, right? Oh, what a, what a map. What a, what a, who, what? Slime boss is fine, right? Uh, we want to fight as many elites as possible. It looks like we're only allowed to fight two elites. What is this map? What, how, who? Come on, guys. Come on, y'all. We review things. So the object of the day is photo album. We're reviewing the existence of photo albums. I mean, they're a thing. <laughs> this sounds like the worst, worst idea for a stream, collab stream ever. Well, we can only fight two elites. Do we want to get the burning out of the way? If we can only fight two? We can go up here. I don't love this. I don't love this triple question mark in the shop. Would I rather just go up the right side? Well, the photo is not an object in the world. I see. It has to be things in the world. Why does it have to be things? Why it's so physical objects only? We're we're, we're reviewing physical objects. I see. I see. Interesting. How do we pick the objects? What is there to say about the the photo album? It exists. We put things in it. We forget about said things in it. It gets old. We look back on it. We reminisce. You're using a random object generator? <laughs> Your brain? I mean, we do this, right? Because, just because. Maybe we get a, what is that thing? Fist. Nope. Violence isn't terrible, right? Wait, wait. Panacea's guide talks about this. <laughs> There's a section on colorless. Okay. Hand of Greed is easy mode, S tier. Bomb and Apotheosis are A tier. Violence is B tier. So I think we take violence. Everything else is pretty terrible. Violence master strategy, thinking ahead. Thinking ahead, really B tier. Thinking ahead, ugh, I don't love it. Secret weapon and secret technique. But yeah, I think violence is good, right? Oh, he doesn't really talk about why. I mean, it gets you your attacks. You kill things faster, right? How would you rate that? Is it A tier? A random object generator or a photo album? Photo album is maybe C tier. It's fine. It's not something I find I need in my life. Is this like the Anthropocene? What is Anthropocene? Yeah, what? Catherine, you're using words that are. Wait, wait. If only. If only. We had a dictionary handy. Nope. We don't have a dictionary handy. Oh, violence is fine. I guess. I mean, what do I know about this game? Close to nothing. Uh, what is the upgrade on violence? Four cards? Yeah. That's fine. How do I feel about these all these question marks? I don't love it. 
NGL. Oh, we could have tried to snipe. We could have tried to snipe an elite. I'm not sure that would have been worth it either, though. Anyway, this is fine. Anthropocene. Oh, okay. I will click the link. It says... Geological epic dating from the commencement of a significant impact, human impact on Earth's genealogy ecosystem. I see. Geological epic dating. The human epic. I see, I see. It's when humans started messing up the world. <laughs> oh, I see. It's based on a podcast. Uh, let's see. These two will kill. And then we, we're just sad. Sag. Sag taking eight in the face. I mean, I guess we pull the strikes. Is that enough? Six plus six is... Is it going to be six? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's going to be six times 1.5 times... Six times 1.5 times 0.75. Yeah, it's still six. Oh, that doesn't work. That doesn't work at all. Oh. Poo poo. Doesn't matter. We're still not taking damage, right? We just kill it this turn. All right. Big poo poo. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, Japanese import. All right, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I taking? Is the inflame greedy here? It feels greedy. Maybe it's not greedy. These seem terrible. Yeah, but do we take a floor one? It's pretty good. Yeah. Th these are these are these are also poo poo. They're they're small poo poo. They're not they're not big poo poo, but they're 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 a little poo poo. Because we're ironclad, we don't we don't have to take an attack. Floor one, I guess. Hey, Mint. Yeah, it's not too offensive versus Knob. Although, yeah. Ooh, do we transform here? Do we transform? Is it transform time? <laughs> Most of the time, I upgrade with Living Wall. Uh, but n normally I have better targets than this. I've seen more and more people not take attack floor one and just start picking for long term. I mean, it kind of depends on your pathing, right? Um, and of course it depends on your class, right? It, it matters most with Silent. It matters least with Watcher, I guess. Yeah, there's of course Elite, it depends. Yeah, Acro Floor 1. That's right, that's right. Yeah, I've seen the argument for Acro Floor 1. I think Dorbs was talking about this in his odd post about his 80% win rate, whatever. Anyway, um, he was basically commenting that, like, you know, as long as you can stay alive, it, it probably ends up being good. Max elites or die trying. That's right, that's right. Uh, you know... There are only two elites. So that's why I'm like, well, I guess we'll take the burning because we're ironclad, right? And elites are easy. Act 20 elites are easy for ironclad, aren't they? Is that, is that, is that what people say? I don't, I don't actually know. Yeah, I think, I think transform, especially in this situation where we don't have any like huge benefits is probably better. I'm okay with transforming here. My my question is, if we're going to transform, do we transform a striker or defend?
we, we get rid of a strike because we're ironclad and the defense are really good because corruption exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corruption, severed soul, which we just passed, you know, uh, second wind, all these things, right? All these things target our skills. So, so we, so we transform the strike. Yeah. Strikes are, strikes are just kind of annoying. If we had a good attack already in our hand that benefited from the upgrade, like, I don't know, Carnage or something, I, I would go ahead and upgrade the Carnage. But like the Bash upgrade, I mean, it's fine, but like, I think, I think we try to high roll with the, with the strike. I mean, it's, it's pretty easy to high roll with the strike. It just has to be better than strike. As long as it's not, I don't know, Clash, I'm happy. Immolate. See, there we go. See, high roll. We just high roll. We just high roll with the transform, and then we're very happy. Yeah, I think transform was way better than batch upgrade. See, everything is fine. We just we just high roll. Game's easy. Hey, Pretoria. Yeah, the batch upgrade feels very marginal. Yeah, yeah, everything is fine. This lethal? 31 plus strike? Yeah, that's enough. Shockwave? Early shockwave? Seems fine. I mean, we're not taking Clash or Havoc. These are terrible. Should I be worried about energy at this point? Maybe? Uh, the gold is not bad because we're going to be forced into a shop on floor seven, seven, eight, seven, seven. So we take the gold. Good thing we picked up this immolate so that we can act, so we have the option to destroy. Kuro told me if you see shockwave and you just click. Same thing with battle pants. Yeah, definitely with battle pants. The question is, do you take two of them? Two battle pants, two shockwaves? I don't know. The, 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 Diminishing utility of those cards are very high. Frantic, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. Wait, fine. Oh, fine. Everything is fine. That's right. That's right. I mean, I want to fight the elite, right? So we go this way. Potions? Very good. We've gotten some really good events. Uh, we're still in the easy pool. We could have actually sniped. We could have Niao's Blessing into a snipe. Anyway. I mean, we definitely take the flex. The weak is probably better. It's better against Lagavulin. It's better against Knob. The dexterity is better against sentries, but I guess I'm less scared of sentries because Immolate will, will blast sentries, I guess. On the other hand, we have the uh, Shockwave, which is already giving us weak, so maybe we don't need the weak potion. I guess against Logavolin, we'll be able to drop the, drop the Shockwave. Uh, but it could still run out, right? Because if we drop the Shockwave, depending on when we drop it. Hmm. Dexterity would be better. I think I want the weak potion, actually. Okay. It seems much better against Nob. Although maybe we're just killing with flex potion? I don't know. This is very good. Very good hand. This game's easy. I guess we play the violence. The violence would draw into the immolate. Does that actually help me? That doesn't help me, does it? I just need to do math. This will do 31 plus 9. So I'll do 40 damage. Oh, do I have 40 damage? I do not have 40 damage. So what do I do here? If I flex pot, 
if I flex pot two strikes, I get to 32 damage. That's not enough. If I flex pot here, does it? It doesn't do any better. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> do I violence now? If I violence now, I take more damage. Thirty-two. I mean, I kind of feel like I have to violence now just to use my energy. Is that right? If we violence now and use flex potion into three strikes, no, that's got to be wrong, right? Because that would be 16, 16 times three. No, we still immolate and strike. But if we're going to immolate and strike anyway, then why don't we just wait till next turn? But then we don't flex potion, I guess. But then there's no way to kill. There's no way to kill next turn, basically, is what I've come to a conclusion of. Each strike is 16, but immolate is 39. Yeah, 39 is greater than 32. Yeah. But does that mean we're, we've just we've, we've resigned ourselves to taking the hit next turn? We'll take 6 this turn, and we'll take 18 next turn. 6 plus 18. Oh, and then we heal back 6. Uh, burning blood. So we just take 18. I guess taking 18 against Nob is okay. Yeah, that's fine, right? We just we just take. We take some damage. It's okay. Everything is fine. Um, oh yeah, so are we going to actually be able to kill next turn? At 22? Mm, maybe not. But that's okay, I guess. We have potions, right? Potions will save me. Potions will give me 11-11. Exact lethal. Okay, everything is fine. Alright. Could have been worse. We get a po We get a... We get a potion back though, so it's okay. Okay, okay. I don't think we have the energy for uppercut. I, I do like me an uppercut, but surely we can't afford it. And we already have the shockwave, so it's probably less important. Do we just take the anger? Yeah, anger seems good with the zero costers, especially going into um, slime boss. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In flame. I do have a power. I initially thought I didn't have a power. But you're right. And the violence symbol will copy something for free. Oh, the violence is actually very good with it. Second second time. Second time round. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. Anger seems great. Do do we bottle the inflame? Is that good? I guess it's pretty good considering we also have the violence. And then we upgrade it? I don't know. I feel bad about it, it eating up a, a, a card slot. Is it actually good? Like, it'll be good in Act 1, but then won't the value of it go down drastically over time? Like, it would be different if it were, like, Dark Embrace or something. Feel no pain. I don't know. Something like that. It's still probably not terrible. 
I don't love it though. I guess it's fine. It feels bad to skip the relic, but I'm not sure that's the reason I should take the relic. All right. Rip. Shrug. Shrug is a card. Or Talcum also seems like a good Act 1 card, although I don't think I'd pay for it, right? Do I actually pay 167 for it, though? It seems like a lot. It seems like a lot. But maybe it's fine? I guess it makes sentries much, much, much easier. And that that's pretty important. Especially if we're going into burning sentries. Which it looks like we are. I also like the true grade if we can upgrade it, right? Because the true grade helps with the exhausting stuff and immolate. Doesn't Mon tell you 169 is higher low roll price? Oh, it does. It does. But mostly I just mean like in a general sense. Is it is it good enough that it's worth like... It's close to the middle. It's a little high roll. It's a little higher than average. I don't know. It's probably like... It's a range of what? 16, 17? 17. It's a range of 17. It's 10 out of 17. No, it's 11 out of 17. Is that right? Something like that. So it's a little on the high end. I think the upgrade is going to be Immolate, right? We don't need the shockwave upgrade yet. So does that make the true grit bad at this point? Like even shrug is maybe better. We're gonna have a lot of hallways though. So I feel like we have plenty of opportunities to get cards. But shrug could help if it's both log of and or um well, actually, with Aura Calcum, it, it matters less. So maybe we skip. Just save our gold for now. All right. We just want to kill things. This will be excellent against Slime, slime, slime Guy. Slime Dude. Guy with the top hat. Also, it has my favorite meme. Everything is fine. Bag? Who doesn't love a bag? All right, let's go. See, now I feel extra bad about bottling the Inflame, because it means one less attack in our hand. Anyway, it's fine. Everything is fine. Regenerating. Do I play the violence here? Just to shuffle things? So that I can play the shockwave. If I play this now and I drop three of these, that'll leave seven cards, right? And so it increases the chance of getting shockwave next turn, which is what I think I want. And then I want him to wake up on, and then I want to attack him on turn three and then wake up on turn four. But then the week's not going to apply quite as long as I want. Is that okay? Also, it means we miss wake up on immolate. Maybe. If there are seven cards left, two are attacks, three are defends, one is shockwave, one is ascender's bane. Does that mean the wake up turn could be really bad? It could be. No, I mean, we're only drawing two at that point. Plus whatever we shuffled. I think this is fine. Uh, 
Uh, we cannot actually anger here because it would wake him up. Okay. That's a little unfortunate. I wanted the shockwave this turn. Bash will unfortunately also wake him up. Hey Vex, the red character? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> so this is a little unfortunate. The sad saddest wake up ever. Oh, do I potion here? Upgrading three defense is pretty good actually, right? We're not blocking at all next turn, are we? Which is fine. We don't need to block next turn. Maybe this is fine. I don't know. Who knows? We have Oracalco, and he's weak. So, worst case scenario, we're only taking nine. It's gotta be Emulate, right? Yeah. This is fine. We just, we just go face. We are clad. Uh, everything's over. All right, not bad. We lost three hit points. Sundial? Sundial very good with Ironclad, right? This is how we go infinite. We just find some exhaust and two pommel strikes and we're done. Yeah, force an infinite. I isn't that how this isn't this how that this character works? Uh, the Warcry Minus is really bad, right? So we don't take it. Fire Breathing doesn't work in this deck. I mean, we have the Burns, I guess. But it's not great. And then we already have an Inflame. We probably don't need a second Inflame, do we? It seems like too many Inflames. Three Strength is enough. All right. Now we're just farming cards, I guess. Oh, just ironclad things? What happened? Jawer. We're, we're getting wrecked by easy pool? Oh, if I used a potion, I could have killed. It's fine. The force, the person who learned about ironclad blocking is for suckers. And a popular L. Are our phrasing math is for blockers? What are you, chicken? Yeah, I'm a chicken. It's true. Uh, do I want to force a shuffle? For Sundial? No, I don't care. Surely that doesn't matter. Yeah, get a potion, huh? Headbutt? I like a headbutt. Headbutt lets us pull back Immolate, lets us pull back maybe Shockwave that we missed. Oh, we lost six and we gained six. We broke even. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Breaking even is ironclad. This healing after every fight is super weird for me. I, I never expect to heal. I, I just got to get used to going face, right? Have you seen the Tiger King meme? Maybe? With regards to Spire? I don't think so. I think Headbutt, right? Even if I'm forcing infinite, Headbutt is fine. Because we force him by exhausting things, not by not taking cards, but instead, like, fiend fire or whatever. It's not a pommel strike. Early Im Immolate is sweet. Early Immolate is pretty good. We got out of a transform. It's pretty good. After losing six more than 6 HP, I'm never going to... Financially recover from this? Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. And with violence, violence can force us into the immolate. I think the headbutt's still good, right? <laughs> it never works out for me, though. Do we just take the five damage? Or do I take one damage and double block? I don't really play that. I mean, I'm gonna kill it in time, no matter what, right? Because I have, because I have immolate. 
And because I have Shockwave? Is that true? Is it possible that it's going to be too slow? No, this will be fine, right? We just block. We lose bag. Now if we Shockwave, he goes down to what, like 8 and then plus or Calcum, we're, we're basically full blocking. Yeah, the Inflamed Beta Art is good. It's so good. I guess the strike? Because now we're only taking two. Alright, now we're just killing things. Alright. This is how we ironclad. Pommel? Pommel is part of our infinite? I uh, love to see it. Realization is right to set in. We, we just get hit in the face. Uh, let's see, nine, we take three. Taking three is not so bad, right? Do we inflame here, or do I just pommel? I guess it doesn't matter. All right, this Oracalcum was worth it. Although it'll it'll distinctly go down right after after the first act. Hmm. Do I want that immolate now? The immolate will do forty two. Immolate is lethal. All right. Uh, I don't want any of these. Do I want the cleave? No, I don't want the cleave. Cleave with the bottled strength is probably okay, but I don't think I actually want it. It would have been good here. Huh? Nope, we missed. If I drink this... Drink this. If I if I if I play in flame, these go up to twelve. Twelve still doesn't kill anything. Hmm. Why does this suck? Why does this suck so bad? Twenty five, twenty five. Yeah, I was. Why didn't we get the emulate? Why didn't it give me the emulate? We could drink the potion. Yeah, we could drink the upgrade plot. Then this goes from to 16. And then we can kill two of them. We could kill two of them. And then we take one. Do we need the upgrade pot for the boss? I guess not. The weak pot's pretty good for the boss. Also, how bad is it to just take take some damage? Suppose I just played Shockwave and Inflame. This would do five. They each do five? Is that right? No, these do six. Five, six, six. Seventeen. Seventeen minus six is eleven. We take eleven. How do I feel about taking eleven? I guess the potion saves me from taking 11. I mean, we heal back 5 anyway, right? We also just have a lot of hit points. How bad is taking 11? We'll, we'll heal back 6. So best case scenario, we'd be at 40, 48. That doesn't seem that bad, does it? <laughs> they say 1 is none and 11 is two ones, So it's none none. It's still none. <laughs> so we're fine. We're okay with it. Does it matter which one I hit? I guess this one. I'm not sure it matters. Alright, we take 11. 
And then we kill everybody? Alright. Seems fine. Feed? I can't believe we got a feed from a from an easy fight. I love it. Cause this is fine, right? Everything is fine. In flame seems okay. Shockwave seems okay. I guess Shockwave doesn't do as much against slime. Because every time we split, we it it goes away. So maybe just in flame for now. Oh, the pommel is actually pretty good too. Draw two is much better than draw one. Uh, what matters going into act two? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like the draws may be better, long term. Uh, the inflame definitely would help against slime boss. I guess I don't know if I sh I'm supposed to be scared of slime boss or not. All right. This will help against slime boss. So I guess we take the strength. I don't know. Okay, hold on a sec. 46 plus 13 is 59. I guess it's okay. Is my deck going to get filled with junk? Am I going to regret this? We could say what's better, and it's so much better watching you work through it. One of the things I love about this game is how different people come to the same, some very different approaches. Yeah. Yes. That's why they were saying... Um, if you have like the good players uh, play the same seed, they diverge very quickly. Which to me is fascinating. I mean, we're going to feed, right? And to a degree, while one might be better statistically, there are quite a few different paths to success. That's right, that's right. That's why um, Panacea's uh, his, uh, spreadsheet of ironclad choices is really fascinating. It's fascinating how how different how how wildly different people think about cards. I think this is fine. I could feed if I wanted here. Could I? No, I can't. Never mind. Uh, I don't think we want to violence here. I think we just want to go one more round. The violence will be really good with all the signs in the deck. This will give me another attack. We could have maybe potion there. I don't think it matters. I think we're okay. 47 seems okay. Do I want to split them? Let's see, it's 21. That leaves him at 14. 14 seems like an okay spot to be at. I mean, I guess anything that, that Immolate can kill is fine, right? The question is, do I want to do I want to headbutt the pommel? Probably, because there are slimes coming. I feel Vex just disagreed with your path in a very verbose way. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I see what you're saying. Okay. So I kind of want to leave somebody for feed. Although we're not going to see feed for a while, and it's 10. So I should probably just be killing this guy, right? I guess I want to know what I draw. What color slime do you think is more tasty? Ooh, I didn't know we were licking the slimes. It never occurred to me. To, to lick a slime. Uh, or a Calcum is better than defend. 
Oh, also Frail Defend. Uh, the green one probably has more flavor. Although maybe the flavor would be more mucusy, and so maybe that's not the flavor I want. That's not the flavor I'm looking for in this life. Uh, we do want to wait for that feed, so we don't want to quite kill here. So that's fine. We just leave it at six. We can kill one of them, but not both. Maybe it's lime flavored? I don't know. It kind of looks like it's snot flavored, doesn't it? I think it's snot flavored. Feels bad, but here we are. I hope it's lime. We're feeding? We're feeding? Alright, we're feeding. Yum, yum, yum. We decided to go with the brown, or the gray one. The gray one probably tastes metallic. In my head, they're, they taste metallic. And the green one tastes like boogers. But that probably doesn't make any sense. Also, if it's metallic, how can it be a slime? Doesn't slime Im imply like a certain fluid consistency? But I, I I blame the Dragon Dragon Quest games for this because they're the ones who introduced the concept of the metal slime. It's got to be Fiendfire, right? So that we can go infinite with our sundial. Fiendfire to set up our our pommel strike infinite. The green one is probably tasteless, and the green one is apple. Ooh, like a sour apple? Ooh, I like that idea. Or like a green grape? Sour grape? And both have the consistency of putty. Putty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's right. I mean, I expect slimes to have the consistency of, like, slime. Pudding. Putty? Yeah. Slate Aspire gummies. Oh yeah, if you were to make Slate Aspire gummies, what flavors would you make them? The gray one has to taste like something, doesn't it? Do I like the energy pot? Kind of do. So that we can shockwave and emulate at the same time. But we're just going to take energy, right? 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 <laughs> I like the week. The week is very good. I think the blessing's actually probably okay. Anyway. Well, if we're gonna go infinite, it can't be choker. Oh my gosh. Is this terrible? Do we take Black Star? I don't think we're strong enough for Black Star, are we? I mean, Emily plus Fiendfire does do pretty well against Act 2 Elites. I'm just not sure what we do against... the Act 2 boss. I mean, I guess we have all of Act 2 to figure that out. Is this fine? Can we take Black Star? I have no idea. I guess, I guess the other two are terrible, though. But 3 energy. Oof. Don't love 3 energy. We can't take crown though, right? Crown crown is just it's so bad. I guess we take the star. I think I think I, I'm gonna take the star and I'm gonna just take too much damage and die. Too much HP loss. Oracle was great in Act 1. Going into Act 2, I don't think it's sufficient. Like, even if we get weak down turn one, you know, 20 22 damage weakened is still like 15, 16. Minus or Calgary, we're still taking 10. 10 to the face is not great. But I guess I'm greedy? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to... I don't know what I'm doing. I just didn't like the other ones very much. Shop? This shop is also okay. We took Black Star, so we gotta kill Elites, right? Or else what are we doing here? Again, only two Elites. This was the same as Act 1. Act 1, we only had two elites. There's no triple elite path. Why? So weird. 
All right, so I guess we're going to here. I guess we're going to here, and then we'll decide depending on how many hit points we have. And then the plan is to go through here. So do we need this early shop? What does early shop give us? Now I wish I had taken the energy potion. Because I think the energy potion would be better than the Blessing of the Forge right now. Shop would give us the opportunity to... Oh, I guess it gives us a choice of resting before the Elite. Yeah, that seems important, doesn't it? So maybe we skip the shop? We can go this way, or we can go through extra question marks. I mean, there aren't that many cards we need, right? Okay, this is fine. I guess I can decide after the second note anyway. Second floor. You scare me? You scare me lots? I mean, there's no point in playing the defend here. I guess we immolate? Emily puts him at 30, no, 40, 44. Do we ever feed here? Like actually triggering feed seems near impossible. Hey, dragon. Learning ironclad, is that basically like learning to play strength cards? That's right, you just go face. I mean, we even picked up Orakalco. We just go face. How's it? How, how's it going? Tell me how to tell me how to smork more. Do we play the feed? Do we really? Do we really just play it? I kind of feel like I need to. Fiendfire will only do twenty eight. I mean, it's a lot of damage, right? Immolate has all has got to be more damage than Bash. The extra vulnerable. We're talking about 20 damage. Oh, maybe not. If we bash plus feed. Yeah, but that's still not as good as immolate and feed. It's just, it's just immolate feed, right? And then we just try to kill it in the next two turns-ish. Violence is an odd card. Yeah, it was now's. Niaos gave us, it was a random rare, it was a random colorless, random rare colorless, uh, it was a rare colorless choice, and it was violence, and mayhem or magnetism, I forget, and something else bad, I forget what the other one was, it was the only one that was decent, basically. I think I do this, just so we can get out of here as soon as possible. Am I... am I punished? This is 20 damage. No, 30 damage? I have 30 damage? I'm one off? Yes. I, I got a potion, right? Yeah, it was Niao. Niao reward. Right. The Niao blessing. Random colorless. Or sorry, choose a colorless. I got a potion, right? I'm off by one. You lost your house keys. How am I supposed to help? Where did you put them? Did you did you check your hand? Are you holding it? Are you holding them in your hand? <laughs> I I wouldn't sleep on magnetism and clan, especially when upgraded. They're in your hand. 
Never Soul? For more exhausts? Do we have too many attacks already? I feel like I have too many attacks. I feel like I should just not take anything. I need some shrugs. I'll go ahead and say random colors is almost never the pick I, I've heard for learning purposes. Oh, for learning purposes. I guess for learning purposes, it's maybe not. I forgot what the other options were. I could maybe have taken uh, Niao's Lament to snipe an elite. I like random junk in my deck every turn. I just find it hard to play the two cost. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we also have the burns, right? So maybe the Sever Soul's okay, because it gets rid of the burns. I'd rather have the, the, the blocking one, right? Second wind? Second wind. Also, we're on three energy, so the two cost feels bad. I think we just skip here. We definitely don't need more attacks. Hemokinesis is not doing anything in this deck. Bites are less good, right? For Vamp? Or for um, Ironclad? I really like Bites in Silent and in Defect. But I'm pretty sure here it's bad. Am I wrong? I mean, it's a lot of healing. Wouldn't I rather have hit points, though? Or is it less bad because I have a feed? And we can stall for feed easier with bites, and then we can we can just get our hit points back. Also, I guess with the inflame, these start off doing ten damage each, which is not terrible. It does mean more cards we need to exhaust, right? Because we, we already transformed one strike. Wait, did we? We did, right? We transformed the strike into the emulate. What happened to our defend? Did I transform a defend? Don't you start with equal number of strikes and defends? Clat starts with four defends and five strikes? Really? My mind is blown. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know that. Why is that? Huh. Because defect is four and four. Silence is five and five. Watcher is four and four, right? No. I don't know what Watcher is. My mind is my mind is blown. Because of P-Strike? Maybe. Because he's ironclad? Uh, I, I would actually think it's more because of... Uh... Oh no, I don't know. I don't know why, actually. Wow. Defect comes with such an advantage. The fewest number of basic cards. I think this will be fine. We have feed. We, we can get 22 hit points back. I think. Oh man, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I don't think we want events anymore. I just, I just want to kill things. I want to feed. I think Eric has five four. Sana is four five. No, Sana is five five. I know Silent is 5-5. Five, five. We just take a bunch of damage and we try to feed our way back up, I guess. Fight our way back up and then feed to finish. I'm not sure this is going to work out.
I mean, this is the same as Oracalcum, so I shouldn't do it. Do we even anger here? Probably. And I want to feed. Am I being greedy with the feed? Probably. I mean, whoops, that was not right. My bite strategy is not very good, right? Because I can't just take every hit and bite. This turn I broke even, but most of the time I'm going to be losing hit points. <laughs> this can't really be my strategy. 12 plus 13, that's nowhere close to enough. Oh, we have 5 energy because of... Uh, Sundial. Uh, I wish I had one more feed, but... Oh well. I mean, we could wait. Sorry, one more bite. I don't think we wait, though. We're just gonna lose more hit points. That fight was really bad, huh? How much did I start with? 40... 49? I lost 12. That, that doesn't seem like what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> I think we skip here. Metallicize feels pretty bad, but maybe on three energy? Maybe I do want the Metallicize. It stacks with Oracalcum, right? So it gives us nine passive block. It's not great though, right? I guess Bastion is the only non-strike uh, defend starter card. And all decks can draw through the starter in two turns. Wait, it's Bash and... Oh, it's only Bash. Oh, it doesn't have another... Oh, yeah. Why does it only have one starter card? Yeah, Metallicize feels slow. The problem is we're not blocking at all right now, right? Transform. The mutagen is actually interesting too, right? Because we have... Uh... We have marbles. Second is just first loser. <laughs> Maybe it is mutagens. We also have violence. Making mutagens better. We just want to kill things as fastly, quickly as possible. As fastly, I was gonna say fastly. Thank you for the follow, Leprechaun, Leprechaun Ninja. Yeah, I glad is two modes. Kill them before they hurt you, or nine and nine. Block body slam. The problem is we have feed, right? Which means we kind of want to block. This is in contradiction with Panacea's guide. Which which one is? What is the contradiction? What does he say about augmenter? I don't mind the transform. The transform seems okay. I would probably transform bites. Mutagen is bad. Oh, really? Is that actually what he says? Hold on. Ingest. Mutagens. He didn't say anything about this event. Yeah. You just made that up. It seems like it would be good for, for killing fast. Also, the transform doesn't feel good because what am I transforming? A couple defends? Although maybe transforming defense is okay because I'm looking for anything that blocks. Oh, that's true. We probably don't want anger anymore. Yeah, yeah, we don't want anger, especially now that we picked up Sundial. We can get rid of Anger and a Defend, 
which is maybe okay. In particular, the defense are really bad with, what if you get another anger? It's possible. In particular, the anger is really, or the defend is really bad with Orc Halcom. I just want better, like, power through or something. I'd be angry. <laughs> I'd mostly be disappointed more than angry. I'm more the the disappointed type than the angry type. <laughs> That's a good point. It, I forgot I had the anger, and the anger's not doing much. Angry is more fun. Which defend do I want to transform? Let's choose this one. Hemokinesis and armaments. I guess that's okay. Not angry, just disappointed. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it tried to find the song. It searched for Skip. Uh, Matt, Matt, Matt Chop, Matt Chop, Matt Champ, Matt something. Champ. Chop, Champ. There's one more. Anyway. Yeah, armaments could be helpful. It's okay. Choke. That's right. Matt Choke. That's right. Chomp. Chop. Chomp. Choke? No. Chop. Choke. Champ? Armaments is apotheosis at home. <laughs> Yeah, it it's the it's the less good armament or it's the less good apotheosis. Chomp choke champ, new Pokemon boys. That's right. Okay, this is fine. Hemokinesis is not terrible either. I mean, it's fine. It's a bunch of damage for one energy, and I guess we are the kill as fast as we can build. Oh goodness, we're already in the hard pool. I think we need the vulnerable, right? So we uh, inflame and bash. I kind of want it to bite. I mean, I really want it to bite, but. This will do 10. Wait. This will do 10 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 60? I'm too short! God. Uh, we can Hemokinesis first. Yeah, Hemokinesis first and then and then Fiend Fire. No, Bite first. Bite first? No, that's not enough. Bite doesn't do it. Well, the 10, 10 was considering vulnerable. I have the hemokinesis first. And then Fiendfire will kill. I would like to bite to get the two hit points. Also, we, we missed the feed. Yeah. Then it'd be 15. Is there any world in which we stall for feed or we pommel into feed no right there's no way we kill then i guess we just hemo hemo feed fire this feed is not working out because we don't have any block pommel first but what is it going to change oh pommel is better than hemo you're right pommel is better than hemo is it enough if we do 13 That's not enough. Because he'll get the metallic or he'll get the three three block. That it's effectively doing ten, so we still have to get fifty-two damage in. Oh no, but Pommel gets us there. Pommel gets us there because we're we're still doing sixty with Fiend Fire. You're right. Okay, Pommel is better than Hemokinesis because we save two. We don't lose the hit points from it. Okay, I'm sorry I'm so slow. You're right. <laughs> yeah, see there's no way we can get this out, right? Certainly not in a I'm gonna kill him kind of way. It's 11? Why did I think it was 10? We could have just been fired. Anyway, this is fine. Wait, can I? No, I can't. I don't have enough energy. Okay. 
All right. I'm just bad at counting. Rage, pommel. Apnea is cheating on me? No, Apnea is in every Spire stream. Bunhara is streaming right now. Go check out Bunhara. She's playing uh, Silent, last I checked. Uh, Apnea was, when I started, was watching some life coach bots because nobody else was streaming. But I think by now he probably just switched over to um, Bunhara's stream. Well, please, check, check everything out. I think we take the pommel, right? Yeah, I mean, I would like to go infinite, but I, I'm not sure how. This fiend fire is not enough. We need a few cards, but yeah, I think I think we want to go infinite. Otherwise, yeah, you went six and three, nice. That's great. You 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 paid for your drafts. Do we just go this way first? Probably. What would we upgrade if we upgraded first? Fiend Fire? Hmm. Is that better? Is it better to just upgrade Fiend Fire first? The question is, do we need to rest? After the fight. I feel like the Fiend Fire upgrade is actually very, very strong. Is that true? It'll be really good against Book. It'll be really good against the other guys, basically. If we get Violence turn one and then we pull Fiend Fire, we just do a lot of damage turn one. That's probably correct, right? The best way, the best defense is a strong offense. Something to that effect. I feel like somebody said that before. Oh, this is an extra question mark. I could go this way. No, let's go into the elite. Well... We can one-shot both of them? Exactly. Love it. You're attacking and there's nobody here? You jerk face. What made you want to join? Uh, I don't know. It was time. I've, I've probably topped out or near topped out on Defect and Watcher is boring and I could, I could, I could improve in Silent. I feel like Silent, I have a lot of room for improvement. I'm, but basically I feel like I'm, I'm good enough with Silent. Um, yeah, that, that's basically it. We're going to take 18. 18 is okay, right? Do we just pull in the pommel? I mean, I really want that immolate next turn, right? Oh no, because she's not summoning. No, I just want to kill her next turn. I think pommel is fine. It works well with our fiend fire. Uh, okay. Now what am I doing? 19 times 4? That's what, 76? On the other hand, I could just Pommel and Hemo. 
That would force a shuffle next turn, and then I could violence next turn. Unless I draw the violence. I guess if I draw the violence, that's bad. Do you think you'll ever paint yourself green and don the mask? Wait, why do I have to paint myself green? Can't you just don the mask anyway? You mean join the, uh, the, the gang? The red mask gang? Why do you have to paint yourself green? Does it say that in the flavor text? Ironclad gang. Is his face green? How do you know what color his face is? Is it because his neck is a little green? Who wants to join the red mask gang? <laughs> the red mask gang's not that bad, is it? He's canonically green. I see. Do I just fiend fire? Okay, if I pommel, we do 18. And as long as we don't draw violence, we're okay. If we do draw violence, then we still play Hemo, right? And we play the violence, and then we're sad, I guess. I guess. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. Because now, we just draw Fiend Fire. That wasn't Fiend Fire. Sadness. Uh, do I have Lethal? I guess I don't need Lethal. If I can just kill the, the minions. I can't kill both minions. I can only kill one. I could explosive pot. If I explosive pot, I have to do 14. Hemo will do that. And then I can bite to kill this one. And then I can bite him in the face. Canonically. You can see his skin in some of the arts. Oh, I see, I see. I'm typing with my hand. I'm such a chair, no worries. I'm only part-time grammar, Karen. <laughs> He's like an orc or something. He's just green skin. I mean, maybe all the humanoids are green skinned. You know, like um, Reptomancer. Maybe he's on the verge of becoming Reptomancer. Who's my boss? Bronze Automaton? I have nothing against Hyper Beam, do I? Hmm. I think we potion here, right? Because we're trying to feed. I technically don't need to kill the guy in front, do I? So I could bite, bite. Emo this one. Because uh, or a Calcum will do the blocking for me. Is that enough damage? If this is twenty-seven, that leaves forty-one. But there's no more vulnerable. Mm, no more vulnerable feels, feels bad. Forty-one. Yeah, I don't. 41, we have to get Fiend Fire or we have to get Immolate. Fiend Fire is actually not enough. It's only... Oh, no, it is. Because we have Strength. It's 13 for each card. Or we get Immolate plus anything else, which is fine. That's guaranteed. But if we miss Immolate and Fiend Fire, we're in a lot of trouble. What are my odds of drawing Immolate or Fiend Fire?
There are 10 cards. I'm going to draw five. I'm looking for two of them. 77%. It's pretty good. But I think we should just use a potion here, right? We're at 50%. The weak potion is really good against... Oh, it could be slavers. Slavers could be coming. I feel like we can kill one of the slavers already. Turn one. Probably. Uh, remove the space. Kaltra has a single word. Gotta be. It's gotta be possible. There is some error checking. Doesn't even work. 15 plus 15. We can feed, right? That worked out great. We healed a bunch and we fed. Good use of a potion. Uh, song's current. Okay, Strawberry very good. Vajra very good. Do we spot? Do we spot? We have a bunch of strength all of a sudden. Yeah. Fun fact, I've not played any of the Persona games. Um, I do own... I bought Persona 4 Golden on sale on Steam, but I have yet to play it. I think I would enjoy it. I think it's four golden. I think it's the one I have. Do I want to play Risk of Rain this week? Yeah, maybe on Sunday. Saturday, I have uh, dim sum plans with some friends. So, so it might be a late stream on Saturday. Do we take the spot weakness? I mean, it's not bad, right? I need more card draw, really, this deck. I mean, I need more block, also. What do you mean? We're friends. The spot makes a team fire a lot better. But un unless I forever <laughs> BFF. Do I need it? It feels a little late at this point. I feel like more than anything else, I just want card draw. I don't know how I get the card draw, though. I need a way to exhaust my attacks, right? We're never going infinite, right? We have too many attacks. Hmm. It feels that way, doesn't it? I guess Fiendfire maybe gets us there. But we need some way to draw into our whole hand before we exhaust everything out. You don't know what else to say? <laughs> I don't see how we go infinite here. It's so hard. Why, why do I not know what I'm doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, Drog. <laughs> hey, Bunhara. The, the warning. Drog, Drog with the warning. How how did your how did your silent run go? Somebody explain to me how to play Ironclad. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm supposed to be going infinite here, right? Because I have Sundial. I just don't know how to get there. You hit them with the sword, poke them good. Sometimes you hit them with the uh, the pommel. When I play the defect run, oh, Silent Run died to Champion. Oh yeah, Champ is a jerk. Hate that guy. Then I played defect run and I lost all motivation to keep playing the game. 
Ah, yes. Classic defect run. <laughs> Just classic defect things. All right. The run is still going. I save and quitted at the Act 1 boss rally. Oh, wait. Things must be going okay if you made it through Act 1 boss. No? Do I take this spot weakness? I mean, I'm pretty sure Bronze Automaton is going to kill me. I have to kill it in six turns, basically. And I don't think that's possible. I guess if I weak him with Shockwave, but how am I stripping Artifact? I can't strip Artifact. There's no way this works. This doesn't work. Oh, uh, it, it's a fine run. I see, I see. You lost all motivation, but you didn't lose motivation because you were playing Defect. I thought, I thought maybe you lost motivation because Defect sucks. Yeah. Okay, okay. Makes sense, makes sense. Got it, got it. I guess we take the spot, right? Because it gives us scaling of some sort. It doesn't seem great, though. We can't block. What do I do? I don't think we can take a curse. I should have taken the hallway. Mummified hand? That's actually pretty good with since we bottled this stupid in flame. We take it. Alright. This is bad? In flame shockwave and just call it a day? Oh, it feels bad. Oh wait, this is gonna hit something, right? Um, can I force it to hit Shockwave? No. I guess we'll just see what it hits. Shockwave would be nice. Otherwise, we play something else for free, I guess. That's fine. We play a bite. RuneScape? RuneScape's so old. I've never played RuneScape, uh, but, but yeah, no, no, no RuneScape. Feeding? Are we hungry? Does 21 bite first, but then what about Mr. Pommel? Pommel? There are a bunch of different cards. Basically, Immolate or Violence would make me not play Feed, right? Don't play RuneScape with Arch? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't RuneScape ancient? Do <laughs> the opposite of what Arch said. Do exactly what Arch says? Ooh. Yeah. It's like one of the old MMORPGs, right? Is it older than um, EverQuest? Yeah, it sells an active player base. That's right, that's right. It's older than EverQuest? Yeah, people still do raids and stuff in it. It is ancient. If we get Immolate, it's doing 31 plus 15 is doing 46, right? 46. 46. I guess it doesn't matter. No, we could kill Taskmaster then? Yeah, that would be better. Okay, we didn't get it. It's fine.
Everything is fine. Because now we emulate. No, now we fiend fire. Now we fiend fire. We kill the guy in the middle. We bite first. Let's see, 12. That leaves 3. 3 times 15 is 45. That's enough. We full block. OSRS has a cool event next week. What's OSRS? Something something RuneScape? <laughs> we draw our one immolate. What did I say it does 48? Oh, except I'm weak. Uh-oh. Did I mess this up? Do I need to... It doesn't quite do enough, huh? Uh, well, shoot. <laughs> I guess we're taking four. And we're hoping that we draw some attack, because we might not. Well, that sucks. Everything is going downhill. Well, that didn't work out quite the way I intended. We got some relics, though. Reaper? Reaper? We have spot weakness, so Reaper seems okay. We don't have the energy for all this stuff. It feels real bad. Corruption? Everything is solved? Uh, we even have Mummified Hand? Hmm. It's gotta be Corruption. Oh, this meat is really tempting too. But it's gotta be Corruption. Good night, Archivarium. Don't eat the meat. You're vegan. It's true. Well, you don't know that he's eating it. You don't know that Ironclad is eating the meat on the bone. Maybe he's just like absorbing the energy from it. Also, how how big is this meat on the bone that you can eat it after every single combat and it and it keeps coming back? Like it must be a gigantic piece of meat if he's eating it. All right, we take Corruption. We don't even have that many skills, but whatever. Does it get us into our infinite? No, because we have too many other cards, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I guess we just fiend fire out everything else. And then we're infinite. It's going to be tricky to fiend fire out enough and not take out the pommel strikes. I don't know. It's doable. It's tough. Um, should I remove something? Maybe we remove the headbutt? Or the Hemokinesis. I don't love this Hemokinesis. I think getting rid of the Hemo is probably okay. Well, would I rather get rid of a Bite or a Hemo? Maybe a Bite. Also, the Burns are a problem.
bite or headbutt or hemo something it's got to be something probably the bite i don't hate the bite but we don't need five of them oh do i want a potion Dexterity pot doesn't help me very much. I think we just save our gold. Okay. Oh yeah, then what am I doing here? I guess we're going here and then here? Or do we just want more hallways? I don't really need cards at this point, do I? I guess I would still take some good block cards to go with my corruption. We save the Reaper. Oh, are we are we just eating it? What does this do? This does 16? 16 times 4? That's nowhere close to enough. What if we pommel first? 15. 16 times 4 is 64. 64. 70, 79. Ah! Oh, we get infinite bite here. That is an excellent point. So it's maybe okay to take some damage here? I mean, I think we're taking damage no matter what. Do we just... I guess we're not playing Fiend Fire. So we inflame... Man, but we're taking 23, so we can take 17. Can we actually infinite bite? We could, but if we had some way to block, right? The, th the thing is we don't have any way to block against, against Mystic. And occasionally, Mystic will attack. You, you can't force it to always heal, right? I guess we always start with this. And if we get... Oh no, because what if we draw corruption? And then I'm sad. Is it just inflame Reaper? It might just be inflame Reaper. This goes up to 8, and then it goes up to 12. That's 24 healing. That's not terrible. I mean, I'm just going to lose 17. Oh, Reaper is free. Oh. So that change everything? Changes something. Uh, we still don't want to draw into Corruption. Or do we? Maybe Corruption is not as bad as I think it is. That's fine. We will do our best to, uh, to bite our way to victory. Do I care if I draw the Immolate? Not really. I just want to draw bites. Can I kill him? 28. Not quite. This is fine. Want to do this? I get to pick what I upgrade, right? This Orakaken has been MVP. Well, yeah. Although we definitely. Picked cards knowing, knowing that it was there, right? Am I spotting here? I think so. Oops. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, the problem right now is... Um... <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> spot. <laughs> um, the problem right now is, yeah, he does more damage than I can block, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hurt him enough. Wait, wait. Everything is fine. Please heal. Oh, pen nib? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Please heal. What was that? <laughs> I, I, I warned you. I warned you that I didn't know what I was doing. It's still true. Am I just getting out? Oh, this doesn't actually get me out. Hmm. I think we're getting out though. This is fine. 52. And then we heal 6, we'll go up to 58. 58 seems fine. We fed. Ink bottle? How's it going? We're, we're, we're doing things. Uh, do I care about ink bottle? I mean, I, I don't need to set it up. It's fine. We get a pot. True grit? True grit? Okay, okay, our infinite is getting better. So we need an upgrade on that true grit, which maybe we can do at the fire. Do we just keep going to hallway so that we can feed more? It's gotta be, right? I'm just trying to feed as much as I can. Oh no. Oh no. I mean... Meh. Let's see, we'll take six. We can spot. And then Pommel. The worst case scenario is we draw Immolate. So I guess we can Pommel first and then Spot. <laughs> it's true. Catherine never loses. Jacob should be here. I don't think Jacob is here. Jacob wanted to see me play Ironclad. Because what did I decide this does? 40, 46? 31, 46? No. Now it's up to 32 plus 16 is 48. It does 48 damage. Which I guess we put here. Nope. Can we kill it? 21. 16. Seems fine. Just kill one. We miss out on the spot, but that's okay. We feeding. Yum yum. Do you want me to message him? No, it's okay. Collective energy. Collective energy is always a good option. 28 plus 32 is what, 60? And we already fed. We didn't Reaper. There's no Reapering. Uh, I guess we can headbutt the Reaper, right? Or we can end the fight. Do I care about the Reaper? Maybe I don't care about the Reaper. Maybe we just bite Immolate. I mean, we're up at 67 now. Yeah, I don't think we care about the Reaper. Friggin' Pendim. <laughs> Oops. We could have Reapered. 
Why didn't we Reaper? Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. These are all crap. Skill pot. I don't think the weak potion is actually going to do very much for us against bronze automaton. Skill pot, I feel like might. It might give me block when I need it. Because I don't think we're going to be able to get through the artifact. Is that true? I guess one bash plus shockwave and then the weak potion works. I guess that's okay. Never mind. I'm not sure we can ever play this bash. This bash is not doing a lot. I don't think we need the explosive pot though. Alright. Back to feeding back to our feeding frenzy. Hmm. This feed fire without more card draw, real sad. Real real unimpressive. I mean, I guess. Oh, we should probably just heal. No, this is fine. Alright, we're taking a ton of damage. Do I just want to get out? Probably? How much can I actually block? Only 13? It's fine. Sorry, feed. Dexterity potion. Not that good if we plan on... Since we don't play block cards. I don't think we want second armaments. Especially if it's minus. Instead, we upgrade our True Grit. And our... Really, the only way I think we can win is if we infinite before... Before turn 6? I'm not sure this is possible. You want more brownies? Nice. I guess I'm immolating? Am I immolating? It puts a burner in our draw pile. I'm not sure that that's good. What if I true grit the immolate? Wait, that actually does help me, right? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh dear god, I'm gonna kill myself. Do this first. Uh, this five block doesn't actually help me, although it does exhaust it, so it kind of helps me. Oh wait, he's gonna take fiend fire and shockwave. Oh, that's a problem. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Bobber. Yeah. I think I'm about to die. I think I'm going to mess this up. I need this Fiend Fire, among other things. I also need this Shockwave. I think I have problems. Uh, I'm just exhausting this. I'm just exhausting this. I'm in trouble. Yeah, I need that shockwave. So the shockwave is over here, right? Hmm. Do I need the shockwave? Maybe I don't need the shockwave. wave. 
I need the fiend fire, definitely. So maybe we're just hitting over here. This is not going fast enough. Okay, if we feed by here, we'll be down to eight cards. Seven, six. This is fine, right? Uh, 14, 28. Yeah, we'll kill him. That's also fine. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, it's fine, right? I have two turns. I guess it doesn't... Wait, do I play it and exhaust it? No, because I need to exhaust another card with it. Don't I? Because I have eight cards. I have eight cards. Spot Weakness is going to go away. True Grit will go away. Oh, Reaper will go away. Reaper, Spot Weakness, and Pommel Strike all go away. I think this is okay, right? Wait. Hyper Beam is coming. I know, I know. I got two, I got two turns. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> As long as I draw Reaper next turn. Is that true? I don't think I need the True Grit, right? I think this is fine. This is fine? I think I'm, I'm doing the math correctly. We exhaust this. We heal what we can. And now we're down to five cards, right? And that's enough. Is that enough? Because Sundial is on two. So Sundial is now on zero. Am I infinite? Did I do it? All right. We did it. We did it, Reddit. <laughs> that was really hard for me. <laughs> I know it's not supposed to be that hard, but that, that was hard for me. <laughs> oh, oh, actually playing it? Yeah, it's a little, it's a little... I mean, I can do that, right? Bite. All right, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Are you sure you're in the right place? Yeah, where are we? Where are we? What do we do here? We skip, right? Oh, we do have um, Mummified Hand. Does Brutality help us with Mummified Hand? It gets us through our cards faster at the cost of a few HP. Does it get us to our infinite faster? I think it does, right? It makes it easier for Fiendfire to eliminate the cards I want. Demon Form Reaper is blocked. Yeah, I don't love the Demon Form Reaper builds. Uh, mainly because, like, sometimes you miss. <laughs> sometimes you can't pull it off. And then it's like, well, now I'm just dead. It's just very risky. It has, like, a high risk of ruin coefficient or something. 
if we didn't have if we didn't take bite we'd have max hp to tank yeah that's true we would have we would have been able to take the 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 hit it would have been fine i mean we were actually at 58 with was that enough for for hyper beam i guess it would have been pretty close oh plus six from or calcum i think we could have tanked it would have been close and it would only give us two turns before we died but but yeah Oh, oh, stalling for demon form and reaper in general. Oh, 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 I see. I see what you're saying. We can use demon form. I see. We'd have time to stall for reaper to to get good to demon form. I feel like brutality is not that bad. Mainly because we have the, the hand. And because we, we do have this infinite. So right now the infinite doesn't work against the heart, right? Because beat beat will kill me. So I need like Abacus or something. How do you gain block? I mean rage. Rage would work. Rage would work except with corruption. It only works once. So like yeah. Yeah, Demon Form feels like yeah, it's because it costs three. And it, and it, and then it's really slow after that. Like it's fine if we were if we had more of a strength build going. But we don't really have a strength build going. And we already have the spot weakness, which I feel like is I mean it's not as good as Demon Form, but it, it's not terrible. If we had like limit breaks, or if we had sword boomerangs, or if, but like most of those things like depend on or heavy blade. Like if we had already, if we had found demon form early and it and we had moved more in the direction of strength build, but I think right now it's not that helpful. I still don't know how we get block for the heart. Maybe we'll get a uh, rupture with his brutality. And then we just kill fast. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do we take it with the brutality? Do we take the cube? I kind of want the energy. It seems really scary though. Just don't pick up combust. Oh, do you lose a card from Combust? Oh. You draw the card from Combust and then you discard your hand? That sucks. <laughs> well, that's, that's crappy. I see. Com combust with Runa Cube is a no-no. Brutality is fine because it's at the start of your turn. Do we just take it? Okay, so it accelerates our infinite, which is good. The bad, the downside is going to be that we still don't have a block solution. How do people normally do this? How do people normally block against the heart with ironclad? Feel no pain. Oh, I see. And barricade with sundial. Typically shrug. Shrug is enough. Oh, I see. Because you can go infinite with shrug. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, you can do rage plus barricade. Oh, barricade will make it okay with corruption. I see, I see. Shrug without corruption. So I'm looking for barricade. I see, I see, I see. Or just increase HP, which we can kind of do. We do have the feed, but we're not going to get that high because because we took the bites. I think bites was 
maybe a mistake. Yeah, barricade and trench. Okay, okay. I see. Feel no pain, barricade. Everything basically barricade. Disarm. Count sheep, Archivarium. Dream of electric sheep. We'll take cube. Cube, not the best, but... Three energy, feels bad. But we have mummified hands, so maybe it's okay? I don't know. It's hard to call bites a mistake when you have strikes. I went from four strikes, though, to five bites. So it, it, it does feel a little bad. We need the red key, we need the blue key. So we do need cards, right? So, so I do want to do hallways. Also, we have star. So we should be fighting elites. Uh... Nemesis is scary though, right? Think of counting sheep, sheep counting sheep. And then the chest is gonna have to be a recall. Is it again? Is it again there are only two elites? Why is it when I play Ironclad, there's only two elites? Every path, every act so far. Max Elites has been two. That's weird, isn't it? That feels weird. Let me go this way. Get Coach Seeds, yeah, where there are four Elites in every path. Yeah, we have to go infinite before we get too many burns. I mean, we can feed fire some of them out. Like this? That's a lot of question marks. Do I want question marks? Or do I want shops? I do want to upgrade the pommel strikes. Although maybe my card draw is okay with the brutality. Yeah, maybe card draw is okay now. Now that we have brutality and runic cube. Uh, do I want hallways here instead of question marks though? I mean, I don't know if I want like, which of these do we want? You need one pommel upgraded? Oh, really? Wait, why? Oh, really? Oh, because it doesn't proc the double, the double sundial unless you draw two. It's like drawing on the empty or something. Pommel minus and do the double shuffle. I see, I see, I see. Which, last time we used armaments to upgrade the pommel. I got lucky that it worked. That it that I that it worked against the Act 2 boss. Yeah, Mind Bloom is good, Sensory is good. Is um is double orb walker is good. Is double orb walker is gonna kill me? I mean, we have Immolate. We just don't have... I don't know how quickly this deck ramps up. I guess because these two are question marks. Well, okay, we'll start on this side. 
I do like the paths from this fire through these question marks through these elites. Mainly because we can skip this elite if we feel like it. We hit double fires, which is important. Shops, we'll probably hit a shop in one of these question marks. The question is, do we, do we go this way or do we go this way? Or do we go some combination? I don't know. But I guess I can, I can take this one first and then decide. I don't know how many question marks I want. The bite. Oh, I was gonna say the bite doesn't really matter, but I guess here we are. Reaper? Well, I guess it's the limit set, see if you can even kill A or B. Yeah, I'm not worried about killing one. <laughs> Hemo plus Reaper only does 27. That's not enough. I mean, we can kill it with a bite, but I kind of want to feed, don't I? How greedy is it to feed here? If I Hemo, feed is doing 13. That's enough. And then we true grit and armaments. That's 14. We'll draw another card with Hemo. Maybe it's feed. Maybe we draw maybe we draw feed. I guess worst case scenario, yeah. We kill. That is not feed. So we could block, what did I say, 14? We take seven to hold out for feed. Bottle is about to draw feed. Yeah, yeah, I true grit and then I armaments into feed, yeah. <laughs> so you're saying we should just kill it. We could kill it with headbutt and then preserve ink bottle, or we could we could bite for two hit points. I think it's correct that we kill it. Taking seven seems super greedy. Uh, and then do I care about ink bottle that much? No, not really. We'll never know what it was going to draw. Explosive? I don't think we care about it. Oh, I could have armaments the bite, and then it would have done enough damage, and I would have healed one more. You're right, you're right. I don't want these. So then do I want more hallways? I mean, if I'm looking for barricade, or other cards, I should take hallways. I should take hallways. I just gotta take hallways. I just gotta take fights, right? There are also feed opportunities. Oh, I hate this fight. So this does 16. If we do three cards, if it goes up to 14 to 21, we can just kill the guy in the back. Seems okay. Do I want to save my armaments? Not really. Do I want to bite? 42. Yes. Right? Not enough energy. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Okay. Planned. It was planned? <laughs> There's no way this works out, right? I mean, I kill the guy in the back, right? If I spot, 
This goes to, oh, 35. 35 is not enough. It punishes poor energy use. Like, you mean misplays, or you mean, like, um, uh, something else? I'm taking so much damage, aren't I? Because I can't kill anything. I, I really should have killed this guy. You're saying three energy ironclad is hard? It feels like it needs... So maybe I should have taken the energy over the cube? There's no way to set up pen nib. I mean, I don't... There's not much we can do here. We're just taking a lot of damage. And sad about it. Uh, we got a Reaper. Speaking of Reaper... But we can't play Reaper and Shockwave. So this is fine. Pen nib? Pen nib? I could have pen nibbed? I could have pinned that to full health, huh? Ah, uh, this hand sucks. Wait, this guy's the only one left? So, I mean, I can definitely kill him next turn, right? But the question is, do I want... I want to... Yeah, I want to greed for feed, right? Do we do that in hopes of grabbing feed? We got it. Um, 16 plus 17? That's enough, right? <laughs> 15? 17 is more than 15? Alright, everything's fine. <laughs> no combust is what we learned. Is power through good here? I feel like no. Maybe? Oh, I could have played more cards for bottle. You're right, you're right. Yep. I'm forgetting everything. I'm forgetting everything I learned about Spire while playing Ironclad. It's not just that like Ironclad is new to me, it's just I'm I I'm forgetting everything. <laughs> uh I don't like the wounds. It's like hard for us to get rid of those wounds. So I think we skip. And then I think we keep doing hallways. The deck doesn't exact size this consistently though. Yeah, it's nice for emergency block, but I, I think at the end of the day, our win condition is going infinite. Are we fighting Time Eater? No, we're fighting Awakened One. Mm, that's not gonna be fun. I guess if we can go infinite, Awakened One doesn't matter. We just have to be able to go infinite quickly. Before we take too much damage, I guess is the strat. Like, Corruption is fine. And Brutality and Inflame are probably all fine. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how quickly we can go infinite. It took six turns last time. It probably uh, is going to be much slower this time. I think we need cards. But also, I'm scared of the hard pool. Now we're at the hard pool. Oh wait, we can go this way. Let's do that. Bash? I think Bash, right? Bash is pretty terrible. Especially on 3 energy. On 3 energy, Bash feels really bad. Yeah, definitely not the Brutality. I mean, the Defend goes... We exhausted with corruption already. 
the match is not doing anything for me. And then now the question is, do I want another event or do I want to start going through hallways? I guess since we have the events coming up, I'm just so scared of the, the hard pool. Like transient, transient, I think messes me up. Um, basically everything messes me up. I feel like I don't have enough damage. I don't think I'm scared. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> if we go imminent, transit will kill us with Carmel Tunnel instead. It's not so bad with, with clad and strength. <laughs> but yeah, kind of. Do I take this fight? It's so greedy, right? It feels pretty greedy. Greed your goal. <laughs> What would... I mean... We just have to deal enough damage, right? So it's really a, a, a damage calculation. I guess the difficulty in calculating the damage is... Um... Because we're on three energy. There are so many draws where like we just don't have the energy to play. I think we skip this, right? Because also, we don't want to spend the camp resting. And we need to save up for the elite. Because we need to upgrade the pommels. All you need is kill them before they kill you. Well, I think we can beat them without dying. The question is more like, if I ended up at 20 hit points after, are we able to make it through the rest of the run? And, and I think not. And I think the reward is probably not worth it. Whereas the elites, it probably is worth it. Also, the elites aren't quite the damage race that this is. I think the unhelpful comments doesn't increase the speed of the runs. That's fine. It's fine. We're we're not in a hurry. I'll probably die in the next hour, which which says something else, right? Uh clad clad is more straightforward play, I feel like. I think we skip this. No need to be greedy, as they say. Oh, I don't have a spiker solution. Hmm. Do I spot weakness first? No, because I'm thinking about mummified hand. I want inflame to hit shockwave ideally. But if I spot and then inflame and then it misses, then I'm not getting shockwave down. And I definitely want to get shockwave down. So I guess we do this first. And it hit Reaper. What does that mean? Do we play it? No, we don't play the Reaper. We just do this. It's fine. Because Oracalcum? Those days are going to be real annoying, huh? Oh, Immolate. It'll kill this guy. It's not going to kill this guy, right? We can take seven with feed? No, that can't be right. Feel no pain would be good here? Yeah. Barricade and feel no pain would be good here. How do we kill this guy? Q. 
Because we don't have block. So do I just do it now before before it gets worse? We get immolate plus feed. And that kills, right? That's 21, that's 48, yeah. I mean, it's never going to get better. And then we take 5. So we take 14 plus 5. It means our Reaper is never going to get that much help. Also, I'm not sure how we block against Spirit Guardian. Spirit Guardian is also a problem. Everything is a problem in this deck. Oh, man. What attacks are left? Fiend Fire and Brutality. This deck is jank. Yeah, this deck is no good. <laughs> you are correct. I knew this. What does this help with? I could play Bite. That's positive 1 HP right now. Uh, I don't want to draw the cards now because the Dazed. I want to increase my block density. It just needs Dark Embrace and Field of Pain. I mean every. Isn't that true of every clad deck? Six. That's just not enough. I can't kill him, can I? Not without vulnerable. 13, 22, 32. Yeah, I don't have enough. Uh, we'll draw a card. Does that help? From Ink Bottle into Fiend Fire. We don't have the energy for it, so that would actually be actively bad. Fiend fire is how we kill, I guess. I guess we block. Trooper plus defend. That can't be right. F me. F me. I should have hemokinesis and then drawn Fiend Fire from the cube. Oh, I'm stupid. All right. All right. This is fine. I mean, this is something. Reaper? It would be nice if I could spot first, but I don't have the energy for it. So we just Reaper first and kill. Yeah. Uh, we can maybe get a Bite also. One energy attack first. Oh no, it's not going to kill. Oh, Pen Nib. Is that better? If we do 11 damage, it goes down to 6. So we can only heal 6. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Nib doesn't matter. Reaper first for 8, and then Bite for 2 on top of that, right? So bad. So bad at this. Uh, Ancient Pot, Combust, Perfect Strike, Wild Strike, no good. Uh, Ancient Pot. Oh, we could have maybe Skill Potted earlier. Anyway. That's just... I know, I know, I know. I should be using potions. I... Yeah. I... Yeah, you're right. I don't think we take the Ancient Pot now, though. The Skill Pot is surely better. We've held this weak po potion since Act 1. <laughs> the... That is an example of noob play, of when you, uh, when you don't drink your potions. 
Hey, Noxter. Uh, pommel, right? We gotta upgrade the pommels. I mean, we can't do that one. So it's gotta be Act 1 Boss, which is fine. Uh, Hexa is a little scary. I guess we just do this. Wait a second. If we bite... If we armaments bite in flame, corruption will automatically be hit. Right? We can also armaments corruption. Does that help? That doesn't help. Oh, <laughs> uh, we should armaments what? Bite, I guess? And now we can violence and get another free. Oh, wait, do I want that? Do I want that? I don't think so. I think we need to exhaust more. I knew this was going to happen. Okay, this is maybe okay. This is fine? Yeah, something like that. Do we hemo to draw a card first? This is fine. This is fine. Uh, how greedy are we about the feed? Or do we just exhaust it now while we have the energy? I think we just exhaust it now while we have the energy. <laughs> Never not greed, but probably not really. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. Definitely play this. The Reaper is decent. Wait, do we... Our spot is gone, right? Spot is gone, so we're not getting any more strength. So we can go ahead and take it. We play the pommel. We fiend fire and we're out. Uh, let's save a bite. Yeah. Pommel, pommel, bite, bite. This is fine, right? Oh, whoops. Or that'll happen. It's just too strong. Okay. We had set up the infinite, but it was fine. It didn't really matter. Prayer wheel, smoke bomb, don't care. Disarm. Disarm is great. I'll take the disarm. It's green. Hard not to take it. Okay. That was totally fine. Oh, I, this fight could be really bad. Yeah, disarm is hard not to take. Disarm is just very, very good. I mean, do I just Reaper? It's 15 to all, so it's really only 6 to all. I could Inflame first. 13, 13 goes to plus 6, goes to 19. That's 10 to all. I guess.
What if I bite? There's no way to kill one with speed, I don't think. Because we're talking about what, like, yeah, 10 plus 8 plus 22. Also, the ordering is all wrong. I guess it would be 20, 28, 28 plus 11. If Inflame hits Reaper, maybe. Right, I forgot Inflame. It's totally gonna hit Fiendfire. Watch. Oh, it hit Headbutt. Okay, so maybe this is possible then. What if we Headbutt first? 26 plus 11 is 37. 37 plus 14 is 51. 51 is not enough. This guy has at least 52. Oh, it's off by one. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> Do I just fiend fire here? <laughs> fiend fire the front guy, and we just lose Reaper and feed? No, that feels wrong. Is vulnerable calculated on the cards? Oh, you don't think it is. You're right. Okay, okay. You're right, you're right. Okay, so we can kill this guy. Headbutt, bite, feed. 39. That puts him at 16. Feed will do 20. Actually, headbutt plus feed is enough. Do I want to actually headbutt a real card? Wait, what if we Reaper first? Oh no, then that doesn't work. I'm stupid. Then we don't have enough for feed. Okay, okay, okay. Headbutt, feed, and then just bite one of these guys, I guess. I think that that's fine. There's maybe a way we could like... Headbutt a bite? I'm not sure that that's terribly important. Headbutt feed one that's not attacking. Oh. Yeah, that feels greedy. We can corruption shockwave. That doesn't do much, does it? We gotta kill one? 13 plus 19. But both draw cards. They just we just have to draw another attack and we can kill one of them. If we kill one of them, we're taking 11, which is okay. Because we still have Reaper. Maybe? That was not an attack card. Uh, No, we can't play the Armaments. Yeah. We draw two cards, actually, because of Ink Bottle. Surely one of them. Oh, it's not enough. Why did I think that this was going to be enough? <laughs> oh no. Now it's time for a potion. Now we're using a potion? Why did I think that was going to be enough? This is not fine. This is not fine either. Oh wait, Infernal Blade. This is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. We're, you know, we're at 20% potion. What could possibly go wrong at 20% potion? I'm totally going to draw into the Immolate, aren't I? Is that okay? 
otherwise I can play Immolate plus Bot Weakness. We're at 4 strength, that's 7 strength, that's 35. 35 is not enough to kill. Everything is not fine. Yep, there's 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 a thing. All right. Reaper, Reaper Enjoyer. Is that enough? 11 plus no, that's not enough. If we blood for blood, is that enough? 22, that means I have to do 10. That's not enough either. I think I have to bite bite. No Reaper. When's the last time we fed? I can't remember. <gasps> it's still not enough. Wait, if I played Blood for Blood, it would have been enough. Oh, I'm stupid. Is this still better? 16? I fed this fight. Oh, you're right. I did feed this fight. If I had played Blood for Blood, this would have worked? Oh my god. What is wrong with me? Perfect relic setup. Another drop kick? Or sorry, another disarm? Probably. Over a true grit. True grit's okay, but the disarm's probably better. Especially against the Act 3 bosses. I don't want the Infernal Blade. Uh, we don't want these. Okay. We have the key. Mob Bank. Perfect time to key. Nemesis. Nemesis is scary. But you know what? Other than Sideways Head, they're all scary. Repto would have also been very scary. Actually, I just want to get damage in, I think. I want to try to end this as quickly as possible. Please no 45. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I mean, I have to Corruption, right? Oh, I guess we have the Weak Potion. <laughs> yeah. I deserve it. It's okay. We knew what we were walking into. It's gotta be corruption though, right? Oh. I totally forgot about hand. Oh, this is not I've seen worse things happen. Uh we need a card to go to zero. Which is gonna be Reaper, but we can't Reaper now. So that was not what I wanted. Uh, do we just play the defend? I guess. We're taking one more damage if we play it. Yeah, that's not the... I wanted a bite to go to zero. Thanks, spot weakness. Well... What am I trying to do here? Headbutt draws Reaper, but it'll be next turn! How does that help? Oh, Pommel Strike! We can Headbutt Pommel Strike? But then we don't have energy to play it. Ink Bottle. Oh, I totally missed that. Okay, okay, okay. I think it is good, because we're definitely not going to see it again.
Wait, did you make it to floor 44 in less than three hours? Yeah. There have been many mistakes, though. We are, we are full of mistakes. I guess we get this out now. You know what this deck needs? Dark Embrace. Mistakes only empower you, if only. But you were still in? I'm still alive. Oh, Disarm, so good. Fiendfire, so good. This is fine. It doesn't do any damage, but... It gets the burns out. Alright, we gotta kill somehow? Speaking of in, I'm out. <laughs> Good night, Timmy. Thank you for hanging out. I didn't make it. We're gonna die, aren't we? <laughs> there are too many burns. This isn't gonna work. The defense came on the wrong turn. I don't have enough damage. I still have to do 79. Oh no, this is not gonna work. We're dead. This is, no, this is where we die. This is fine, this is not fine. This is the opposite of fine. See, look, we got Immolate at the wrong turn. Oh, so many burns. Oh, we headbutt the Immolate. We headbutt the Immolate? Is that gonna be- it's still not enough, right? The Immolate only does 32. 32 isn't enough to kill. It's still- Pednip? No, the Pednip's not gonna be set up properly. We can't do it. We have to play the Emolate and then headbutt it, but it doesn't work that way. What else do we have that does damage? Nothing? We're gonna lose the pen nib. We could just pommel strike here. We'll draw three cards. And then pray. That we draw Emulate next turn? Yeah. That That's what I'm thinking? When we take the damage from the burn... Cube, does, does that proc cube? It does, right? So we'll draw a lot of cards. We're gonna take so much damage. Let's see, we would take 10, 33, we take 33 damage. I hate it, but that's what we gotta do, right? Cause if we can, we can double this, that'll be 70. All right, here we go. Take 33. Wait. Oh no, it happened before! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it happens before the end of your turn. <laughs> We're dead. We're dead. There's no way. <laughs> Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Good news, though. We can get out of this horrible fight. Beat it, Ben. Take 
If I had left it, we would have drawn one of the burns. The two burns I had in my hand would have hit the Oracalcum. The big hit would have dealt me damage, so I would have drawn one extra card. But at least we would have shuffled properly. Oh, we're still alive? Oh, we are still alive. Barely. We're about to take more damage. Is Immolate even going to save me? It only does, what, 35? 35 is not enough. We play this, right? Probably. Oh my god, so many burns. Uh, I wanted those cards. Am I dying? I feel like dying. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to take five damage. This is fine. No, because there's no way we're killing next turn. Oh, we're totally dying. Whoop, there goes the pommel I picked up. Yeah, this didn't line up right. Holy burns. Yeah, we're still dying. The boo would be good here. <laughs> it didn't line up properly. One, two, three, and then we're gonna take eight, and then we're dead. Also, we have the brutality, so we're just we're just dead. All right, we're dead. Well, what did we learn this run? I think this this fight was winnable. I think I misplayed it. That said, like. We were missing so many things for Act 4. I'm not even sure we would have made it through the Awakened one. I mean, we can even... Here. Let's see what would have happened if we replayed that turn. If we, if we understood the burns properly. What did we do? We did this. And then we did this. I can't remember whether I played this or not. It doesn't. It changes the shuffle. And then what did I decide here? That we could force. No, we just played the corruption, right? We played corruption shockwave. Corruption hit pommel strike. I was surprised. I was like, "Whoa, that's not what I expected." And then I was like, we play the violence for the brutality. And then I played this. And I played this. Did I play the defend? I think I did play the defend, although I don't think I'm supposed to play the defend here. And then that was unfortunate, but whatevs. And I think... I think I was much too optimistic about the fight ending quickly, and so I was exhausting my skills. But I think that's a mistake in retrospect. And then here we were like, oh, let's headbutt the Reaper. Oh, now we're two cards out because I didn't play the defend. Hmm. I think instead I should have just been pushing damage here, right? I didn't need to headbutt the Reaper. I just need to push damage. I was trying to exhaust cards instead. Yeah, we go face. Uh, do I want the Fiend Fire next turn? No. I want it this turn, but there's no way we're going to be able to play it. But I guess it's just nothing for me next turn, so... <laughs> I'm guaranteed to draw it because of Ink Bottle? I'm stupid. That's fine, because that doesn't matter.
And then last time I like was true gritting out my attacks. I think that was a mistake. Here we just heal. Do we pull it back? Maybe. I mean, it's damage. And then the vulnerable is off. The disarms are so good. Why is disarm so good? Oh, and then we kill? One, two, three, four, five, six. No. All right, maybe we keep going. That fight wasn't actually that bad. This deck, yeah, Disarm is a really good card. Corruption is a really good card. Uh, this deck is maybe not as bad as I think it is. I just really misplayed that fight. I was like super optimistic about exhausting cards out and needing damage. Yeah, anyway. All right. That's a card. All right, this is this game's a loss, but but we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep going a little further. I think Repto might kill me, um, but we need the relics and the card, the rare card choice. Can I kill one of them? If this goes up to 11, 14, 21, yeah, we kill one. Reaper would have been really good next turn. Setting a pendant would have also been smart. I think we, we might just die right here. We didn't even get the double attack, so the, the disarm is less good. Seventy-seven. Uh, well, we throw the weak pot, right? Then we just hit. We kill this guy. <gasps> Do we kill her? No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times 17, nowhere close. It's around 100, 102. Do we try to set hit the corruption with the brutality? I guess so, right? Defend. That doesn't help me. But we definitely immolate. How do we get block? Man, corruption would be good here. 18. Oh, that's enough. We can live. Okay, okay. We can even get some block out of... Yeah, but that's not good. We definitely have to emulate though, right? Is emulate the only way to kill? Both of them? I think so.
Is it just immolate, feel no pain? We can draw Hemo and Pommel. No, we can only draw one of those. What if we just immolate and bite? But don't I want to drop the feel no pain? Mm. The feel no pain will make something cost zero. Maybe it'll hit a bite? All right, this is fine. Headbutt. Uh, that's not terrible, right? All right, four HP. Four HP is fine. I forgot about that <laughs> uh, brutality. Mm. <laughs> uh, four HP is maybe not fine. But we have bites. We do have Reaper. I think I need to push damage. But is it better to do it? Oh no, everything's gonna draw. I'm just really worried we're gonna draw into like Bean Fire or something. Something that I need. Immolate maybe? I don't know. Bean Fire maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a follow up question. Pennib is very close. Should I play the he hemokinesis to get it even closer? Because I may need it with Reaper, right? And I probably can't play three attacks, right? I, I definitely can't play three attacks. So I, I probably do want to just. Just do it. Just rip it. Let her rip. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. 2 HP? 2 HP is surely enough. So we play an attack, and then we Reaper for a lot. Is it enough? Yeah, because we'll get like more than 60 hit points so we bite and reaper everything is fine sheesh i ironclad is so stressful for me Uh, this will full block it by violence. The wonders of Ironclad, yeah. As in, I wonder if I'm gonna live. <laughs> Am I killing? It doesn't look like it. Wait, maybe? Uh, this is not with the vulnerable though, right? 21. Oh, this is killing. Don't forget the feed. Is it going to work? This will give me uh, 8 block. So it puts me at 14. And then we take 7. Do we, do we greed for the feed? It feels wrong. We also have bites. It's maybe okay. We greet it every time. <laughs> just immolate, just immolate is fine, right? That puts us in range, because this will do 42, and then it's down to 10. Oh, what if it drew feed? Anyway, see, we're taking nine here. Is nine okay? I don't know, nine doesn't feel okay. For feed, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Who knows? We didn't even get it. 
I guess we can wait. We can't bite. Yeah, we take one damage every time. We kill the next turn with a bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe with two bites? No, just one bite. Alright. Alright. Now we get the boot. Uh, I like the true grit, right? It's block. It exhausts a card. We are rewarded, yeah. The clean is very good. Sundial setup. Sundial setup. True grid is fine. It's green. Uh, this is a little scary. Having not been able to upgrade Shockwave is a little is a little scary. We're going to draw a card, and I'm going to be sad. Oh no, it's a bite. It's fine. Oh, we can't block this. This is so bad. Disarm, trigger it. Oh no, no, we Cleat. Cleat already being very useful. Um, It's 30 damage. This is 23. 23 minus... 26, so we're only taking four. <laughs> I I mean every fight is hard with this deck is is the unfortunate situation. I think we just exhaust the Descender's Bane, right? I guess we see what this draws. Okay. Do we exhaust the Ascender's Bane or the Defend? Maybe we just exhaust the defend. Maybe? I'm not sure. We really need a dark embrace. So we can make a bunch of things go to zero. Does that help? How does that help? I'm not sure that that helps. We can probably set up Reaper with Pendant. Question is that feed. What do we do about that feed? Let's try this. Immolate. Immolate headbutt. Oh, now we can... We have Ink Bottle, so Headbutt will draw whatever we ink... Whatever we put on top, maybe? Because we're not killing with this, right? 21, we would need, like, a bunch of cards. What if we Headbutt... Pommel? No, that doesn't work. We don't have enough energy. Uh, do we? No. I mean, we'd have to get lucky with Feel No Pain. Do I just want to draw? What if it's Corruption? Oh, I have three energy? Okay, let's just draw. Defend. 21 times 4. That's close. And then we just kill the next turn? Not great. I guess we can headbutt the Reaper. Oh, will we be able to kill? We headbutt the Reaper, and then we Fiend Fire. That's probably okay. We take a bunch of damage this turn, we we heal a little bit back. It's not great. Oh, we could feel no pain pain fire. And then we block this turn. Is that better? That's probably better. It'll do 63 damage. And give us 
12 block. So we'll take 11 damage. We probably can't kill next turn though, can we? Oh no, we, we still have vulnerable, so maybe we can? It'll be close. I can't just do two cards, right? I could headbutt the the Reaper, but we can't play all that. Do I headbutt the Emulate? I probably headbutt the Emulate. This actually doesn't give me this gives me the same block. Oh no, it's gonna be nine block. It's marginal. Eh. Better than Orakalkum, I guess. Ow. Wait. I draw I drew the immolate from the the constrict. Constrict hit me during my turn. I drew the immolate. And I lost it. <laughs> Learning new things every day. Yeah, this Brutic Cube is a real is a real is a real mess. Uh we can kill it, right? With uh Pendim. Yeah, Runic Cube is a weird, weird relic. It's not that popular, right? I mean, I just want to get out, right? Actually, we probably could have blocked. We could have corruption and blocked. Anyway, too late. Evolve. Second fiend fire? Yeah, we probably take second fiend fire. Okay. Darklings? Is maybe okay. Okay, that's also maybe okay. Ink bottle. Why 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 you gotta do me this way? I wanna headbutt something, but if I headbutt something it I don't get to keep it. Also, don't I want to keep at least one of my pommels? That's fine. Okay. Thirteen will block this. I think we do want that. Do I want to save the true grit? I can't, right? Because this is thirty three. It's the only way I can kill him. I could save the bite, I guess, but the bite's not really something important. Alright. The guy on the left is coming back. I'm a little scared. I guess we have Immolate. Speaking of Immolate. We could Immolate killing this guy again, but then this guy is still coming. I guess it's okay. If we Corruption... It's either going to hit Feed or Immolate. I guess if it misses Immolate, it's okay. Because we can play all of our skills. But we never played Feel No Pain. So all of our skills, well, this will go down to 6 times 2. Weakened, 6 times 2 weakened is only 4 times 2. That's only 8 damage. I don't care about that. Yeah, we missed. It's okay.
The defend is okay? Maybe? I really need this immolate, right? When this guy comes back? I'm a little scared. This might not be the right play. I should have maybe immolated last turn. Oh, we got Reaper though. We got a Reaper? Uh, we got Sundial Energy, so we can play everything. Is this a Reaper turn? I guess we bite this guy first, and then we Reaper. But actually, it doesn't matter, does it? I'm 29 hit points away. This will already do 16 plus 11 plus 4. 30, yeah, that's already full heal. So we can actually... Bite to try to kill somebody. Because I'm nowhere close to killing this, right? So we kill that guy, I think. And I guess we're waiting for Immolate. Oh, Immolate is right there. Uh, shoot. Wait. Oh no. Ink Bottle. I did not expect you. Emily's not going to kill this, right? It's 40. Oh, maybe it does. Plus 7. That's 35. Oh, it does kill him. Oh, everything's fine. We don't feed, but I think everything's fine. This just kills. Maybe he lives. 51? Oh, it exact kills. I would like to feed, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, it's 52? 17? 34 would have been 51. How greedy am I for this feed? Pretty sure it's a mistake. All right, let's get out of this fight. Wait. What if I pommel feed? 25 plus 25. Oh, that's off by one. There are no other cards. <laughs> I think it's plus... F it's plus 17, right? So that's 52. It kills everything. It's just too much. I mean, I could just kill this guy. Oh, but then this guy comes back. Also, wait, we're down to one, two, three, four, five. I'm guaranteed feed next turn. So maybe that's okay. Like... I can just kill with regular hit attacks, I think. In fact, I think I can feed my way back up. I can buy my way back up to full health.
That probably helps also. Because then I'm guaranteed to draw this. No, wait. I need to exhaust. Do we exhaust the immolate? And then we bite? And then we feed? I'm like... Mostly certain this works. Oh, I didn't take into consideration that guy healing? I think it's still fine, right? Uh, that's 26, this is 28. So we start with this one. Oh, we also sundialed. Yeah, everything is fine. I should have... Well, hmm. Anyway, this is fine. Everything is fine. Time to play Isle of Arrows. Isn't it bedtime? Ink bottle isn't fine? Oh, you're right. I think I could have maybe... Sundial is not fine. A bunch of things are not fine. Do we take the ghostly? The shield of the gods? I don't think you take the shield of the gods. Armaments, maybe. Is it maybe armaments? In the first card rewards, Sentinel is not bad. Because we have the, uh, especially because we're low on energy, and we have the corruption, dark embrace waiting room. Well, we're out. We're out of chances. There's, there's none. We missed it. We saw a scary movie, Smile. Oh, nice. How was it? Act four store. Act four elites will give it to me. I guess the Sentinel is fine. It's like a block plus. And it gives me energy. Do I want another armaments? I feel like armaments is like meh. We can go infinite with these guys? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure we can go infinite fast enough. Like, I'm, I'm a little worried about taking a bunch of damage. Girls night out. Aw, that's nice. Yeah, I mean, that was the idea behind Cube. That's kind of like a Dark Embrace. Do I take the armaments? What, what, do, what upgrades do I benefit from? Not that one. Spot. The bites get a little bit better. Uh, upgrading the other Pommel Strike is better, right? Because then we can block, can't we? We're not resting. Feel no pain? Corruption? It might be corruption, right? Chipotle and Crumble. Is Abacus still available? I think so. It's possible. There's a bunch of stuff this deck needs, but also barricade. I need a barricade. Like, there's just so many things. Although, we do have 420 gold, which is nice. You have returned? I misplayed and died, and I save scummed uh, against Nemesis. So, I'm, I'm, just a, I'm just a scummer. Scummer? Shockwave upgrade is really nice. What do I upgrade? Just learning. That's right. We're just learning. What do we know about Ironclad? Nothing. Also, Sundial Infinites? We don't know anything. The same's come out on my watch. <laughs> yeah. Do I actually want Brutality Innate? Maybe I do want Brutality Innate. It gets us going much faster. Especially with Hand. <laughs> it wasn't on your watch. It happened. I shouldn't be telling you. 
Or do we just upgrade the pommel? Yeah, this deck does want draw. Makes the armaments better. That's true. Armaments isn't going to double hit something. Okay, that's fair. All right. I'm going to end soon. I know I always say that, but I mean it. Maybe. Okay, so I feel like I want to keep these guys alive for feed purposes. On the one hand, I feel like that. On the other hand, I'm almost to the heart. I know, but this is the slowest part. Yeah, I can feed on the cultists. On the other hand, if I don't kill them like by turn three, they're they're doing a lot of damage. Finish a run in one stream? Well, I already died actually, so in some sense this, this run is already over. Technically we finished the run. Oh yeah, I was worried about that. Okay, can I force it though? If I play Bite and Feed and then Inflame and then Brutality. It means I waste the Feed? How do I feel about that? Oh wait, I don't have that much energy. That requires three energy. I don't have three energy. I just gotta pray. We get two shots. We missed? We get one more shot. We missed? Oh, I hate you. I hate you, game. This is bonus content. I don't even think we play it. Oh, this missing this corruption is real bad, huh? We may be safe scumming again. Yeah. Missing that is really bad, huh? This feels like an unwinnable position now. We can headbutt it, right? We have Pommel Infinite, right? Yeah, we do. But we gotta not die before we get it out. I mean... We have to trigger the attacks. Well, we also have Fiendfire. Fiendfire is how we did it last time. That's how we did it against the Act 2 boss. I think we messed up. Oh, we can trigger the Sentinel now! Holy cow, why didn't that occur to me? And then we can shockwave and kill this guy. Shockwave, bite, bite, headbutt. Oops. Oh, it's so painful. Oh, we have Disarm. Disarm is so good. I want to get the Feel No Pain out, though. What do I do about Feel No Pain? Because this is going to hit... There's a 50-50 chance that it hits Immolate or Feel No Pain. Oh, no, wait. I can do it the other way, right? 
Oh no, I can't. I have to do corruption first. And then there's a 50-50 that'll hit feel no pain. I guess we just pray, right? It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, 44. 44 is a big number, but... We have zero energy, so the, so the violence doesn't actually help. Because I want to play the Fiend Fire to get rid of attacks, I guess. True Grid also isn't helpful. Uh, maybe I just get rid of the Immolate, right? True Grid the Immolate? But don't I want to kill this guy? Hmm. I guess it's okay. Because we don't need this. I, I, I kind of want those attacks next turn, right? I want to play the Reaper. We can do this. It's never going to do more than this. Oh no, there's one more. I could spot weakness one more time. Uh, this is fine though. Can I kill this guy? No, I messed up. That's good enough. We'll save this. 16 cards. We got a fiend fire, a bunch of attacks out. Okay, we can spot. Uh, we need to save the pommel, right? Oh, feed? Feed. Oh, armaments the feed. You're right, I could have gotten more hit points. Uh, I guess I just want to block here, right? Is that the second time I forgot to armor and speed? You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> That's fine. We can bite our way back up. I mean, we don't even have to get rid of everything, right? We're close enough. Are we? Wait, if we put three cards? What do I want to armor mints? It doesn't matter, right? The bites, right? Is this enough? Nine? Ten. This is enough. Hey, look. I did it! <laughs> so next turn... I might not have a card draw, right? I'll just have to like fiend fire maybe. I mean, I think I could I I think even with that I could still brick, right? I think brick was always an option. The secret is just get sundial. Yeah. But here we can fiend fire. And then we'll just be left with two pommels. 
and that's fine, right? It feels so scary to lose your whole deck. Yeah, Pimp Power blocks. <laughs> Two cards is fine. Oh, just don't get to heal? I mean, eh. All right. At least this is easy to to play. Should have alternated bites last turn. Skill issue if you get time meter. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Uh, this turn sucks. Nice as he played, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not stripping artifact damage. Oh no, I have a shockwave. Should I wait on the disarm or should I just exhaust it now to get rid of an artifact? Feels pretty bad. Do you see Barb join TSM? Oh, is TSM one of the teams? I'm surprised he wasn't already part of. He did. He's not part of some like management team. I had never heard of Barb before you told me about him, Plants. Shockwave does weak and then vulnerable, so maybe we save the disarm. I guess? I don't know. It'll be fine, because we'll get Corruption first. Like I said, we'll just get Corruption first. I mean, it has to be, right? Uh, it hit Feel No Pain. Let's go. I had like a 1 in 4. 1 in 5? I had a 1 in 5. I think he joined one in 2022. TSM is a huge organization, so good for him. Yeah, great for him. Great to have management. Armaments the feed? We can do it this time, Bobber. And then play one defend. Do I want the burn in my deck? I guess we can fiend fire it away, so it's maybe okay. Although I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because we're just trying to go infinite anyway. So maybe I should not have put that burn in my deck. Okay, so my thoughts were armaments. Do we pommel first? No, armaments is good here. It upgrades the pommel and the headbutt. It's fine. Shockwave to strip artifact. Is it time to headbutt a fiend fire? There's still a pommel strike here, so that's not great. Oh, but that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we do need to block this turn. Do I want the extra energy now? Uh, this will give me 11 block, that's 22. This seems fine. Wait, and then we headbutt, and then we bite, and then we hemokinesis, I guess? Is that what I want to do? Uh, ink bottle. Ink bottle as well? Oh, maybe I'm fiend, finding, fiend firing this hand. Oh yeah, why don't I do that? Yeah. These cards were junk. Ooh. 
Okay. Ah, uh, that's as strong as we're getting. So Reaper now. Dazed. Oh, dazed are a problem, huh? Oh, we could try to line up with Pendant. You're right. That would have been smart. So we need to fiend fire out this burn, I guess. Do we save this true grit? No, we just play it. Get rid of the bite. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried with the dazed. I don't think we can play the emulate. Right? So I should I should true grit the burn? Is that right? I mean I don't really want the emulate either. Maybe it's okay because we're gonna maybe get back to the fiend fire. We're gonna draw into this dazed. I feel like I'm running out of turns to make this work. I'm scared. Somebody hold me. Wait, am I fine? I think I'm fine. This is fine? We're here. We are here. All right. We're going to feed on Donu. Yeah, simply get Sundial. Apparently. Apparently that's how you win this game. Whoops. Wrong one. <laughs> okay. Do not accidentally kill. Oh, uh, we can also bite, right? Because we draw two. Also pen nib. Yeah, we could appeal to full. We just had to alternate it with the with the sundial. Or, yeah, pump, pump, bite. We couldn't do pump, bite, pump, bite. That wouldn't have worked. Feel no pain? Corruption. There's so many times where I'm like, corruption has to hit the right thing. So it's maybe just corruption first. Upgrade corruption. So that we can play it and another power at the same time. That said, the extra block is nice. Anyway. It means we don't have to get lucky quite so often. This is no good. This doesn't help. These things, these things are no good. Uh, I guess you would take Ancient Potion. Yeah, exactly. We we can't block against the heart. We got nothing against Beat. Beat kills us. Yeah, Ancient Potion gets rid of the the, the vulnerable from the heart. Yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> 
we get strong from Act 4 elites. Uh, we remove a card and we maybe take either Sling or Ornithopter. Maybe Sling to make the elites a little bit easier. It's probably just these two. Yeah, but it's going to take us so long to go infinite in the elites. I think we're just going to eat... Because turn 2 and turn 3, we're just going to take so much damage. Pummels draw 3 against the heart? Oh. That's true. Sling doesn't save us. <laughs> Ornithopter at least will heal us up a little bit. Yeah, we never get set up before we block. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we might just die to the elites. I guess we have Cleat at least that helps turn two. Turn three might be when we die. With madness. But none of these give me block, right? We can be energy positive. Upgraded bite, draw steel three. But that's not enough. We can't go bite, bite, pommel. It's like bite, it'd be bite, pommel, bite, pommel. But then we don't have enough energy. Yeah, even bite, pommel, bite, pommel isn't enough, is it? Oh, cube draws. I see, I see. So a madness has to hit a bite, and then we upgrade it with we upgrade the bite with armaments. I mean madness just has to hit any, any bite or pommel. And then we can use armaments to, to upgrade the bite. This is madness? Oh. Alright, we try it. We try it. <laughs> you are some mad lads. Do we remove a card now? Yeah, this is this is this is smark. <laughs> Whetstone to upgrade the bites. I mean I'm not worried about upgrading the bites, because we have armaments. And we have other armaments. We have double armaments. It seems like it'll be pretty easy. Maybe? Maybe not. I guess what would I remove? If I removed, I would remove... Yeah, this is hard to set up. Okay, okay, okay. Whetstone. Yeah, you play Corruption right away. There's no choice in that. And then we set up. Okay, okay. Oh, we missed. <laughs> oh, that was sadness. Uh, we also have Gambler's Brew, which helps a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was that was pretty pretty unfortunate. We could take this instead of a gambler's brew, but I don't think that's right. I think this is fine. I still think the gambler's brew is probably better. Yeah, I think the gambler's brew and the ancient potion are better than the blessing, especially because we have the double armaments. The double armaments makes it fine. The double armaments makes it easier to force. Yeah. Uh, we don't want any of these things. I mean, we could take another True Grit, I guess, but it's minus, so it, it feels kind of bad. It depends when Corruption comes, and I think we'd rather just get Corruption sooner. We had late lunch. Oh yeah, I think we died too. <laughs> no question. 
Uh, this is also bad. We just die turn two here. <laughs> I mean, we're not going to make it past the elites at this rate. We have a cleat, and that's it. Do we? We draw three. Thank you for your concern. If I defend, I draw one more card. Because Orcalcum won't go in, and instead we'll take one extra damage, but we'll draw one more card. So it's probably better to defend to get one more card draw. Lose one more hit point. Yeah, draw is more important than one hit point. This is not terrible. We could feel no pain in fiend fire. Five, six, seven. Seven times, no, eight. Eight times three is 24. That gives us 24 block. That gives us 38 block. It doesn't kill though, does it? Yeah. We need vulnerable or something to do that. We can't kill the guy behind us, can we? It's only seven. Seven times 14? What's seven times 14? Too bad we didn't set up Pendip. <laughs> yeah, what? Why didn't my bot do anything? Where are you, bot? Bot? Hello? Is defect bot not here? I think defect bot is not here. You're my bot. We could actually maybe even immolate and then fiend fire. Depending on what field no pain hits. Anyway, this is fine. Oh, we hit Fiend Fire. Yeah. Okay, so we can immolate and then Fiend Fire. So what does that do? 32 plus... That does an extra uh, 18 damage. That's still not enough. That doesn't kill. Bot dead. Madnessing bite as an out. Yeah. <laughs> there, there are way too many things that need to go right. I guess since all this does is two extra damage over here. Yeah, and it gives me a burn, which I don't really want. So I think we just fiend fire here and call it a day. Uh, we could defend for a little bit more block and less damage. Is that better? Mm. We could also disarm for a little less damage. Do I want a headbutt? No. We have two shrug. Yeah, that's right. We get two relics and two card rewards. We're still taking a ton of damage in this fight, right? Especially if we don't Reaper. Especially if we Fiend Fire now, we lose a Reaper. Because this is still taking like 20 some damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't heal right now. We could maybe ink bottle something. Yeah. I guess a pommel strike would be nice to get more cards into our hand. And then maybe we could kill this guy. If I double pommel, could I kill this guy? Is disarm block positive? Oh, it, it strips an artifact. It's it's it, it's equivalent. It exhausts either way. Yeah, I guess it just strips artifact. Defend is block positive.
Because I'm not even worried about... I mean, we're not going to kill him. I'm worried about next turn, where this guy's going to be attacking me. And then I'm I'm scared of that. We could gamble here, yeah. Right. The heart is much easier to draw. And then we can save the Reaper. Yeah, okay, okay. I think that's right. We gamble everything except fiend fire, and we're basically looking for pommel to make our fiend fire stronger. Is there any way fiend fire will get enough? I don't think we can get to 155 though. If we had vulnerable, but we can't get to vulnerable. Corruption is two now. We can play Corruption. Okay, okay, okay. Shockwave, Corruption, into Fiend Fire. I'm not sure that's actually enough damage, but... Violence helps. Shockwave and Violence? That's probably enough. Yeah, I think that's enough. I mean, it's the line regardless. Uh, we don't go infinite then. We lose a pommel. You're gonna go to bed? Good night, plans. <laughs> I mean, I can't go infinite then. Is that okay? It's eight. That's 160? Yeah, that kills. It's got to be worth it though, right? Because he's not attacking. Yeah, what's the alternative? Yeah, exactly. There's our corruption. Oh, we have disarm. Everything is fine. Uh, how greedy am I? Are we feeding this fight? I don't think we're feeding this fight. This is fine. We save the block. Oh my god, so many burns. I mean, I'm just trying to kill him, right? Do I want the madness on the headbutt? Probably, because then I can put the something on top. Pommel back on top, I guess. But we have the other disarm. The other disarm is just gonna is gonna do what we want. Right? Uh, there's no more vulnerable. There's no more strength gain, right? We spotted. Or we eliminated the spot, perhaps. And then we're out. We just get out. Sundial is set up. Nib is set up. Well, we got extra damage. Oh, we only get one card reward, because it's a... Uh... Uh, Elixir is very good, though. Second, feel no pain. No shrug. I mean, the feel no pain's fine.
Yeah, it's fine. Okay, okay. All right, let's finish this. I don't think we fiend fire here. So you're saying the beat will draw a card? Beat will just keep drawing cards? That's amazing. I think we want to disarm for the first cycle. Oh, we, we do we we also need to save our ancient potion. I guess we do this first. Yeah, we're gonna use we're gonna use the pot. The ancient. Alright. We disarm and then the first cycle we don't take damage. We can play the feed, because we don't care about it. Yeah, we, we do it at the end of the turn, right? We save the armaments because we need to hit... I guess it doesn't matter. It's not exhausting. But we, we need to keep drawing cards, right? I guess we draw with this for zero is better. There's a bite. So we could armaments this bite. But let's feed first, get one more card. Two more cards. Okay, so that's pretty good. Okay. So that's pretty good. We've upgraded some bites. Reflex. Oh no, ink bottle. Letter opener. Get in there. All right. I forgot the potion. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> So we can't play this madness. Save load. No, no, no. We'll, we'll play it out. We'll see if it matters, and then and then we'll see. This still doesn't work, right? We can't quite make this work. Like, we, we still can't play this Madness, because it, it's not going to hit. We need the Madness on the upgraded Pommel. Or an upgraded Bite, yeah, so we can't play this Madness. We just we just take our help and... Oh, we can use Pot. You're right, we could exhaust these three. I think we want to save it for Block next turn, though. Well, I guess we do it now. All right, we do it now. All right. I can't believe I forgot the potion. Now the potion does absolutely nothing. We got our our feel no pain down, right? So we can we can actually spot in fiend fire. Actually, maybe we true grit. 
No, I mean we want a spot, right? We need we need to. We, the strength is well. I guess if the goal is to go infinite, then the spot is not actually important, right? So we just true grit, and then fiend fire for block. I think. Or do I need the Fiend Fire to get rid of some of the attacks? I think this is probably fine. Okay, now we don't want to disarm. Disarm here is no good. Weaken Corruption. We probably... We can play this Feel No Pain. The shockwave just in time is pretty good, but I think we true grit the immolate first. We would have saved that 22 from the pot. Yeah, 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 because it's like 37 or 38. We would have saved like 19 or something. True grit wound over immolate. Is that better? I guess that's better. That is better. Yeah. Okay. Let me shockwave first. Because I'll give us block. Oh, the block comes in after we take the beat? Oh, I did not expect that. This is fine. And then we can violence. Now we have both True Grits. Yeah. Well, okay. We can go infinite next turn. Right, because it's not health positive, is it? We do have disarm. Oh no, we can't we can't strip artifact. It's not health positive, but yeah, it's health health neutral. So maybe we just want to save the true grid. Okay, let's Reaper. Oh, can we set up Reaper? With Nib? Maybe not. Not this turn. I don't think we can wait for it. Okay. I'm gonna exhaust one of these. So that violence has space to draw. And we get an extra bite. So what is our draw? Our draw is fine. Right? We have the pommel, we can armaments to upgrade it. Oh, is that better than just Reapering? Reaper does not. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. We can also headbutt back the Pommel. That's actually probably good. Yeah, so what if we bite and then we headbutt back the Pommel plus?
this is gonna work. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, uh, this is fine. I guess we rip this armaments now. I feel like I just want a Reaper to get it out at this point. And we set it up with Pet Nib. That's like the best we could have ever done. Yeah, Nib Reaper. We're blocking. We have one True Grit left. So we, we just play the the disarm, right? Because there's there's no way we can strip the artifact. There's nothing that strips artifact. So we so we just let it let it go. Chemo draws. But wait, what am I trying to draw into? Oh, it's a true grit this turn. Oh, I see, I see. I think we need a next turn for blocking, right? It's actually the same with the disarm, right? Disarm lets us block a little. Oh, but he's only doing 60. Next turn is only 60. We can survive 60. I guess we're definitely biting. I mean, we have three turns. Yeah, this might actually work. This is fine, we can get this out. Oh, Beat of Death at three. You're right, so we want... Okay, okay, so if we can if we can get more damage in, that's good. Okay, okay. I think we just rip this out. Do we get rid of all of our things? Like, I'm not going to get it under 400, right? There's no way we get 40 damage in. I guess we can armor mid's headbutt. Is that better? Because it doesn't give me any draw. I guess it is a bad draw. Let opener damage, yeah. So I think we get rid of this. Just play the bite for the health. Over forcing the pommel on top. I feel like forcing the pommel on top is way more important. Is that not the case? This doesn't matter. I mean, it's it's block, but we didn't quite get under, but it's actually close enough, right? If we have to do one hit on three beat, it's okay. All right. So we can go infinite this turn, right? I think we can go infinite this turn. We True Grit the Immolate, maybe? No, because we need to take damage so we can draw some more cards. This is whack. Yeah, 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 don't True Grit till the end. Yeah, we need the beat. Is it just Pommel? There's extra draw. There, are we infinite? We're infinite. 
Okay, so what's the order? Bite? Yeah, bite draws a bite. <laughs> it's pommel then bite? <laughs> We need to overdraw when it's on zero. You're right, you're right, you're right. So Sundial. But I think what, what Bobbert's saying is, is beat enough to, to let us draw? Wait, that's infinite. This is enough. It draws itself. We didn't actually need to do any upgrades. This by itself is enough. A single bite is enough with cube. We did, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe this works. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Do I want to try to fiend fire stuff out? No, I want to true grit though, right? I want to true grit some stuff out. Because we hit damage cap already. We're already at damage cap. <laughs> oh wait, I'm not at full health. Hold on, sorry. This is the this is the dumbest ever. <laughs> Okay. That that's as much as I can do, right? Cuz this just puts me back at 92. Right. So we can true grit. I guess the MLA it doesn't really matter. And then I think we we put something in the discard pile so that we can so that we can headbutt it back on top. I didn't not know that the cube drew the card that caused damage here. Yeah, neither did I. It's just ordering, right? So I think we put the pommel strike into our discard and then we headbutt it on top. Oh! Stupid, stupid uh, ink bottle. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. Because that's what we really want. Because we need to draw into. I guess it doesn't matter. We just take some beat damage and then we draw into everything. <laughs> or that. That's how we draw into our deck. Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did not expect that. Alright. This was a wild run. Thank you for joining me on uh, Toad's Wild Ride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it didn't matter. What an entertaining run. We learned so many things. We learned so many things about Cube. We learned so many things about Sundial. I think it works without, right? I think with Pommel, we could have made it work. And Sundial. People hate on Q, but I love Q, especially for the hard fight. It's so good against the hard fight. Hey, Tape. <laughs> what a weird run. Bye bye, Pommel would have worked. Energy neutral, health neutral, yeah. Even without the madness. The madness just makes it really simple, though. Uh, we could go to full health, but it doesn't matter. Right? Anything kills next turn. It, I mean, doesn't matter. Nothing matters. I'm not pro. Uh, this run brought to you by, by chat, by, by import and, uh, and Bobbert. Yeah, zero cost bite. True, true MVP. We lost this run. 
officially we lost this round. Died to who was the nemesis? Or or do I do I do it this way? It's gone. 